Okay, everybody, back with you here on the off the grid spot. We got some uh, club members out today. Um, hopefully, we can find some good stuff. Uh, this is my first target that's of relevance today. It's a tool checkout tag. So, woohoo! On the board. Sweet. All right, Lisa's got something. Let's go check it out. This area has been tough. Let's see it, Lisa. Oh, yes. It's pretty. It's a thin Beautiful. Knife. It's pretty hammered, but you know. Awesome. <laughs> Great find. We know it's here. We know it's here. Ghost Town Silver. Woohoo. Better than that. Nope. <laughs> All right, we got the signal from Lisa. She's got another target here. Let's let's check it out. You haven't even got it out yet, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. It almost it gets almost looks silver sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yep, one cent. What year did it? Is it? Uh, it is. Please. Oh, it's a forty-five. Forty-five. Yeah. So they were here a little bit later than than the other towns. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Nice find. Not in bad shape. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. I'm making burgers right now. Ty has made a find here. He's found a 1942 Washington. Awesome. What's a mint mark on it? Is it a plane? It always oh, got a mint mark. S mint mark. Let's see if that focuses. Nice find, Ty. Uh, you know, you guys are proving me wrong out here. I thought there was, like, we couldn't find a coin, and you guys come out here and we got three coins so far. Hopefully there's more. Right? Oh, cool. A crown overall button. Sweet. Good find. Hope there's more. All right, y'all. Uh, down in this deep sage, tall sage, so it's pretty old. I think I got a coin, so let's see what it is together. It's right in here. There it is. It's thin. It is a dime. Barber dime. I know you're gonna kill me for rubbing it. Eight. It's eighteen. I think it's eighteen ninety-five. Sweet! So I think their first year was 1891. So fourth year of the barber. Sweet! Love that, love that silver. All right, back with you guys. Got another target here. Um, kind of hit like a penny, but just wasn't quite exactly right. Ends up being a crown overall button. Pretty cool. You can see the crown on there. Sweet. All right. Hopefully there's some more coins. Back on it. Uh, you know, if you get on a spot, you find a coin in a spot, something like that, try to stay in that area and hunt it out pretty well. There's likely to be more coins. Uh, that's, that's what's happening right now with me. Look what we got here in the hole. Looks like a wheat. Yeah, wheat penny. Looks like it's a teens one. Maybe a 1919 or a 14D. We'll let you know later. Wow. Okay. Talk about hitting an area. We got another target here. Let's check out what it is together. Oh, it's crusty. wonder what that is. It looks like a coin for sure, but... Huh, mystery item. Could be a zinc penny. I will find out what it is and, and we'll let y'all know. I think I can see Link in there. Mystery coin. 
And we got our target out of the ground here. It's in my hand. I'll just show it to you guys. Hopefully you can see it. It's, it's like a name badge with the letter B on it. A pin or something. But it's really cool. Really intricate. Flowers around the edges. Pretty neat. Well, it's getting late. Uh, another great day of detecting is coming to an end. Uh, uh, I picked up those few coins, so I got the fever going. The sun's setting on us. We got Ty over here. He's back here on the hill. Let's see if we can zoom. No zoom. But yeah, he's back there. Beautiful sunset. Do a beautiful day. All right, everybody had a great day detecting with the Mike and Lisa and Tyler. Um, here's some of the my finds. Um, we got a uh, entered from a pocket watch. A few um, these are brass rings of some sort. We got this thing. It's a hat badge or hat pin or, uh, of some sort. Uh, it says USJC Utah on it. It's pretty pretty cool. Um, rang really high. And then we got the Autolite resistor spark plug. Pretty neat. Little spender clasp. Old pin. Pen. And I believe this is some sort of choke uh, key of some sort something like that uh, if you know you more than welcome to comment and i've seen these somewhere i don't know exactly where but i think it, it they go to like a musical instrument again if if you know uh, please comment this i believe is a like a salt and pepper shaker some something like that but I know back in the day they did have like the the snuff things, so it is it could be something like that. Um, next is this this is like a game board token, has a number eight on it. I thought this little rivet here was pretty neat. It says Lee on it, so someone's wearing their Lee jeans back in the day. And here's the crown button. Pretty cool. And here's a, a, a pin. Has a letter B on it and some ornate flowers and things on it. Pretty cool. Neat to see things like that. And here's the tool check tag that I found there in the video. Pretty neat to find them. I like them when they're marked so you can identify where they came from. Now for the coins. Uh, first coin here is a 1918D wheat penny. Pretty cool. I thought it was a 14D for a minute, but then got the loop on it. Kind of got excited. And in that same area I was hunting, we got the 1892 Barber Dime. It was between those two uh, chunks of dirt that popped out in the video. Pretty neat, no mint mark on it. And then last, I thought this might be a zinc. I wasn't sure what it was. We got to looking at it. And if you can see right here at the bottom, right above my thumbnail, there's an O on it. And you can see it says dime right here. But uh, I know you probably can't see it here. But believe me, it says clearly right at the bottom here, 1898 with the O-Mint mark. So a Barber Dime from 1898 from New Orleans. Pretty cool. Love to find the, the different mint marks. Well, that's a wrap, guys. Until next time, happy hunting.